Hi team, welcome to our property market update for the Tawa to Pukaroa Bay area. Local sales for January, February and March totaled 185. The highest was 4.3 million for a lifestyle property in Patahanui, and the average sale price in the area over that period was just over $1,008,000. The start of 2022 has been full of action and media headlines, and we wanted to give you our take on what's happening right now from the coalface. First off, everyone will have noticed that property prices have dropped, but why? We've had a number of factors that have all put pressure on property prices. A combination of all of these factors at the same time is why prices have dropped so quickly and so sharply. The first is interest rates. We saw a 50 basis point increase last week and this won't be the last increase we see in the coming weeks either. This makes buying a property less affordable. Number two, COVID is still a factor and is still affecting business confidence and life in general. And this takes away buyer demand. Number three, inflation and the cost of living. This is also at high levels and makes buying everyday items much more expensive. This also makes buying a property less affordable. Number four, the Credit Contracts and Consumer Finance Act, or Triple CFA as it's referred to in the media and the enforcement behind this by the banks has made borrowing much more difficult. And this takes away buyer demand, as less buyers can get finance. Finally, we have the FOMO effect, the fear of missing out. Last year, we had buyers buying to try and not miss out on the capital gains available in the market. This year, we have the opposite. We have buyers waiting to buy to see how low property prices will go and try and get a good deal and this takes away buyer demand. So we have two factors making property less affordable and three factors taking buyers out of the market. With all of this happening at the same time, it's easy to see why demand is down and why prices have dropped. So what is likely to happen next? With a 10% drop in house prices having already occurred in most areas, we've already reached the likely maximum downturn. This hasn't flowed through to publicly available stats in the media just yet, but this is what we're seeing at the coalface. This means we'll likely move into a short period of stabilization, followed by a slight positive correction in prices before we have quite a long period in a flat market. These are obviously just predictions, but if this does come to pass, it means that the best deals available in the market are available right now. Right now, we're in a buyer's market, but once we reach the flat market phase, the power is equally in the hands of buyers and sellers, and prices are quite predictable. For buyers that have had their finance applications turned down over the past few months, now may be a better time to reapply as banks have started to ease the way in which they're interpreting the triple CFA restrictions. Finally, we wanted to thank all of the community groups that have allowed us to jump on board as sponsors and supporters this year. When Collective was awarded the National Community Service Award in 2021, we didn't just want to rest on our laurels. What this award means to you is that when you sell your home with Collective, more money goes back into your community than it would selling your property with any other company. Since winning, we've started sponsorship and support arrangements with an additional 11 community groups, sports clubs and schools. And this takes our total now to nearly 200 local community groups receiving some form of collective support. If you're involved in a group that needs support, please reach out to your local collective salesperson and have a chat. That's our market update for the first quarter of 2022. On behalf of our collective team, we hope you all had an awesome Easter with your friends and family, and we look forward to helping you with any real estate decisions that you're looking to make in 2022.